Hello everybody! I really hope you enjoyed my previous video, which was identifying Ursa Major and Ursa Minor in the night sky. Now, in our journey across the stars, I'm going to show you two of the constellations which, for me personally, were some of the first constellations I recognised back when I was seven years old. I watched an amazing video by Science Online. I'll include the link to that amazing video here. And in that video, I was able to identify my first ever galaxy. This was an exciting moment for me because it was my first connection to the universe. And personally, if you're watching from Science Online and HylaRoad.com, I just want to say thank you because you inspired my journey to look up to the stars. So keep tuned and like all those years ago, I will show you how to locate Cassiopeia, Pegasus and most importantly the Andromeda Galaxy, also known as M31. We live in a galaxy, and on a clear night when there's no light pollution, you can see a soft glow stretch throughout the night sky. This is our home galaxy, the Milky Way, which is created by compressed regions of stars. But we are not alone. Out there in the universe, there is billions and trillions of galaxies. For most galaxies, we need very powerful telescopes. But there is at least one galaxy that we can see to our unaided eyes, and at best, using a pair of binoculars. And that is the Andromeda Galaxy, also known as M31 in Charles Messier's list of deep sky objects. The key to finding the Andromeda Galaxy is by recognising the major constellations of the night sky, Cassiopeia and Pegasus. Cassiopeia, from Greek mythology, represents Queen Cassiopeia, and Pegasus is recognised as the flying horse from Greek mythology. If we take the five bright stars of Cassiopeia, use these end stars as a pointer. The Andromeda Galaxy is located about three pointer lengths away. Browse this area with your binoculars. And when you're looking at that, you are looking at the Andromeda Galaxy, a faint glowing cloud. Another way to locate the Andromeda Galaxy is by using the constellation Pegasus. The dominant feature of Pegasus is a large square created by four bright stars. So emanating from one corner of Pegasus is a stream of adjacent stars. This is the constellation of Andromeda. And if we take the two central stars, we can use those stars as a pointer. And if we move from one star to the next star, and move that same distance again, we come to a small fuzzy patch, that faint glowing cloud. And what we have to remember is the adjacent position of Cassiopeia and Pegasus don't change, but their position in the night sky does. In August, 
we're able to see Cassiopeia and Pegasus low on the east horizon. And by the time we move forward to January, they'll appear low on the west horizon. In order to find other deep sky objects, I personally recommend that you use computer software such as Starry Night, Stellarium, and if you have an iOS or Android device, Starwalk Pro. Using this software, you'll be able to locate most, if not all, deep sky objects. Now, it gets even more complicated when you understand what exactly you are seeing. If I was to say to you that the Andromeda Galaxy is located 2.5 million light years from Earth. So what exactly is a light year? A light year is the amount of time it takes for light to travel in one year. This means the lights from M31 which has travelled through space and ends its journey at the retina of your eye has travelled through space for two and a half million years. We are seeing images of objects as they were then. And it gets worse. There's some objects I've seen in the night sky and they're hundreds of millions of light years away. They're light so faint and fragile that it dates back to the early origins of the universe. <laughs> I tell you, if that doesn't make you feel small on a little ball of rock, then that does. When you're looking up to the light of distant stars, you are looking back in time. But ultimately, the point of this video is, you do not need powerful telescopes to see some of the most distant objects in the universe. All you need is a clear night sky, your eyes, and if you need it, a pair of binoculars. And I'd just like to say thank you very much for watching this video. For me personally, these two constellations were what inspired me to look up at the night sky all those years ago. So please make sure to leave a like and subscribe to my social media channels to view my latest work. Here's to clear skies and all the best.